Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. Alright, this is the last video on cutting fabric. And this one, you see I have this big old gigantic box of freezer paper. This is actually really good to use in your crafts. You can do pretty much anything with this stuff. Let me move it out of the way, add it to my stack of junk right there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to be ironing this. This freezer paper is different from parchment and wax paper. Parchment has no coating on it. And as you see, this has coating on one side and not the other. Wax paper has coating on both sides. Parchment has none and this one has one. Okay, so we're going to, as soon as my iron heats up, we're going to rock out on this. Alright, so I have my fabric inside of there and I folded this so that both of the shiny sides are to the fabric okay and I'm gonna take my oops you know what I need to put this down because I don't want to damage my good mat okay so I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna hit it with the heat and iron this and one of the admins that was on our group before had talked about doing this technique and was going to do a video and never got around to it. So now is my turn to take up the slack and get it done. Okay, so let's see here. Oops, sticking on the other junk that's already stuck to it. I need to find my old ironing board. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, because what we're actually doing is we're trying to make it so that it is stiff enough for the blade to cut through. And then we'll remove both of the pieces of paper and then only have the fabric left. So let's head to the machine. Okay, and before I stick it on, you can tell this is crispy creature. Okay, this is nice and crisp. It's, this is paper. I mean, this is, this is paper, and it holds that nice and straight. So I'm going to go stick this to the mat, and we'll be back. Okay, so I have it over here. Ooh, let me try to adjust the settings for you. All right, so I have it over here, and I put my blade depth at a 6 because it's kind of thick. shrink this down. I don't need a huge one. Small works good for me. And I pull it away from the edge a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's cut. Okay, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my pick before I go removing it. And we'll see what we got here. Okay, that looks like that's the trick. Nope caught on this side again so I would go a smidge deeper let me pull all this off so I would definitely take my blade a slight bit deeper because as you can see it caught in that same spot again so <laughs> everything wants to stick to me as you see, it caught a little bit, so I would definitely, sorry, I know, it caught right there again. So I would take it just a tiny bit past where my blade depth is. You like my painting sweatshirt? Um, it didn't get all the way through right there, but I could take scissors and cut that, no problem. So instead of having it set at 6, I would take it just slightly past that and that would be my setting for freezer paper cutting. As you see it worked extremely well. 
Um, yes, this top part of the freezer paper did get all bunched up. It doesn't matter what that looks like. That's not what you're concerned about. What you're concerned about is what the underneath actual product you will be using looks like. And let me get all this freezer paper off of here. As you can see, it really seals itself quite well around here. Okay. And it came off of my mat absolutely no problems at all. But here's what it looks like. It's nice, nicely cut. There's no frays, but it is caught in this one. And like I said, it's because my blade depth needs to be just a hair deeper. And that'll get that no problem. Okay, let's take a look at my mat. Right here, there's a little bit that needs to be peeled off. Just grab it and pop it off. Okay, so that's all you need to do with it. All right, my settings are what they always are. Speed at one, pressure at minus one, and my blade depth will be at like, would be at like a six and a quarter. Oops, this is my old, my everything else blade, but this blade depth would be at like six and a quarter or not even. I mean, just a, let me show you. That's what it would need to be just a slight bit over six and it would cut right through it all right okay guys so that's how you use freezer paper to cut fabric with our awesome little scan and cut so if you've seen all three of them i've showed you how to cut using terial i've shown you how to cut using my transfer tape that i use for everything and i also um when i use fusible i use Pelon wonder under so there's four different ways that I've shown you how to cut fabric now, all right? If you have any questions at all, you can find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.